Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with my latest DIY project here on the farm. What we've made here are three, what they're considered or called are Viking chairs. I'm calling them the redneck recliner. Um, we're going to put these actually on my dock and use them for fishing. Rather than carrying down a lawn chair, these will just stay there permanently on the dock. But what they're built out of is 2x12s. Went over and bought two 2x12s, 10 foot long, and they end up making three chairs. But uh, very easy build. Probably took us about two hours. The biggest uh, thing we had going for us today was uh, a very slight wind and a lot of sweat going. So it probably if it was a little cooler, we would have went faster. But again, these are considered Viking chairs. If you look up on YouTube, there's a lot of channels out there where people that are making these and um, some guys call them camp chairs. Viking chairs, the most, uh, the most that I've seen them. I'm gonna call it the redneck recliner. Um, this is about as redneck as it can get for a for a dock chair, but they're very very comfortable. Made out of two by twelves. You can see here that that uh, the two by twelve slides through a slot. This first chair here does not have any type of pinning or anything we made some uh, small peg pins for these just to kind of hold and make them a little more sturdier you do not have to have that however if you if you choose to that that you know you can make these is is however you really would like uh, the upright here is roughly from uh, end to end is 36 inches total of course you can make it as shorter if you wanted a, a smaller back or you can make it longer if you want a little headrest or something um, the seat all the way back here to the back uh, bracing that holds it up as in that uh, in that position is 40 inches 40 inches on that particular piece you can see here where we had to make a slot that this particular piece slot uh, goes through the upright uh, we took two inches off right here so two inches on this side two inches on this slide side and slid it through and that uh, that's what we had to take off. It's pretty strong. You can see here. I mean, it's it's pretty strong. Nothing uh, nothing that I'm worried about as far as uh, it breaking or anything. These are treated, so uh, you could probably do it with untreated. And get by for for a little less money. This particular project probably cost uh, forty five dollars total. Um, already had some of the stuff, so. As far as uh, saws and things, you will need a circular saw or a uh, a jigsaw if you choose that. But uh, I guess you could use a wood framing hand saw, but it would take you a, a little while. You will need a, a, a measuring tape. You will also need a straight edge to draw the straight edge line that where, where, where you're cutting those long angles. I used a five gallon bucket to draw myself uh, the arc here uh, on the top. This one I just used a square and made that uh, three inches by three inches on each side. Took a circular saw and cut it off. But overall, very, very comfortable, especially for a dock. You don't have to worry about pulling a lawn chair out. They'll go down there and sit on the dock and whenever they dry, we'll probably stain them and, uh, or paint them. But Overall, a good, easy, fun project. Took us about two hours. So, uh, hope this helps at least understand uh, some of the dimensions. That was something that I did find hard to find online, was what the dimensions were. But I did find some on a dock, and that's where I got the idea. So, thank you for watching. We ask that you subscribe. Check back for more projects, more DIY projects, maybe some reviews on some stuff or even some fishing uh, or hunting activities. But until next time, please subscribe, check back, please share. If you have any questions, send us those questions and, and um, definitely try to answer those for you. Stay safe if you're out on the water. Stay safe this year in hunting. And uh, take a young person or a young family member hunting or fishing. You never know what type of impact you may make on that person. Take care. Stay safe.